What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Mikey Pipes, also known as Mike Dyke, Master Plumber of Pipe Doctor Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. We're based in Valley Stream, New York. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace an anode rod. So stick around. Let's make moves. We have this here. AO Smith, uh, 50 gallon power vented water heater. This is the actual third White Rogers Intellivent gas valve that's been on this water heater since the date of manufacture and installation, which is about 10 years. I have the water supply off. The relief valve is closed. We're gonna pop that open, take some pressure, and get, break the vacuum that's in there, and we're draining into a floor drain. On the top connection right there is a one and one sixteenth hex connection. We have a breaker bar. This is a 24 inch breaker bar and a one and one sixteenth, one and one sixteenth inch socket. Let's see if we can break that free. All right, we broke it free with the breaker bar. And now since that was in the way and it's not even glued in, we're able to finish the job. Oh, this might have helped too. Yeah, that would have helped. <laughs> All right, the purpose of the anode rod or sacrificial rod is to let the water, Wow, oh, it doesn't even want to come out of there. Let the water attack the rod. As you can see, this is not gonna be easy to take out. There's really not much left of it. It's basically hanging by a thread. Never been changed, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I wrapped some Teflon tape at the end of the anode rod. There's literally nothing left of the other one. So now we have plenty of height here. So we'll get it in through here and secure it with the wrenches. All right, real quickly, let's talk about uh, what an anode rod is and why it's beneficial to a water heater um, before I conclude this video. The anode rod, also known as a sacrificial rod, um, its job is to be eaten. Um, the stuff that's going on in the water, good stuff, not good stuff, right? But those, these tanks, they're made of a, of a lined steel, right? And uh, as that lining breaks down, now the steel is exposed to the elements, the water, you know, right? The H2O. Um, the anode rod is a sacrificial rod. The water is going to attack that magnesium rod first instead of the tank itself. Once that anode rod is gone, uh, the water is going to want to attack the tank itself and then kaput. Water, you know, the tank starts leaking and it's goodbye. Um, listen, I've been, in, I've been, uh, laying pipe literally since 2002, 2003. Um, I've been in the trades for a little while. Only up until recently did I actually start replacing anode rods. And now it's a company policy. When we put a water heater in, if they, ha they have a, a plumbing membership with us or a plumbing maintenance agreement with us, uh, we're going to guarantee that water heater for life, the tank. Um, but we're also going to change those anode rods every three years as part of that plan. We're going to guarantee that water heater, the tank itself, for life. So if you read the manual, it tells you to check the anode rod every three years or every couple years and then judge based on its condition how often from there often you need to change the anode rod. So do yourself a favor. It only costs a couple hundred bucks to have a plumber change it. Uh, again, your area may differ, but if you're a few hundred bucks, it's much cheaper than thousands of dollars. That's my food for thought. Until next time, Mikey Pipe signing off. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.